Belmont Park. But I think the biggest story of the day there was actually in an allowance race. It was the sixth race. And we had the return of a real fan favorite, Sunny Union Rags named Patch Matt. Will you remind me why he's named Patch? Yeah, Brian, and and he really is. It's amazing what a fan favorite he is. And of course, uh, he's named Patch because he lost one of his eyes uh, um, when when he was a younger horse. He lost his left eye, which means when he's racing, he can't see to the inside horses to the inside. And Matt, you know. Uh- I don't want to spread misinformation. I believe Patch actually had the name before he lost the eye. I think it's something along the Union Rags uh, uh, line, but it, it's kind of ironic that Patch uh, only has one eye. And Matt, you were there for his return. Uh, most people didn't think he was going to get up there at the eighth pole, but he just kept coming. He sure did, Brian. And and you know, talking a little bit more about Patch, it was his second career win. Uh, in addition to that, remember last year he was second in the Louisiana Derby and he was third in the Belmont Stakes. So even though he's only got two wins, he's got a pretty good stakes record. He's won uh, almost five hundred thousand um, dollars after the race. Uh, Todd Pletcher, his trainer, uh, um, like everybody else, was talking about how Patch is such a neat horse um, and, and he's an interesting horse because he doesn't really like to train. He's not an enthusiastic horse in the morning, but in the barn, he's a he's a real sweet horse, and everybody loves him. But when he gets on the racetrack, uh, Pletcher described him as a as a horse that is full of heart and determination, um, and and he said he'd love for some of his uh, uh, more high priced horses to have that those kind of features that Pat shows on the racetrack and and you're right brian it didn't look like he was going to get there but he dug in on the on the far outside and and just went by the rest of that field so he still has allowance conditions left and obviously there are stakes races ahead but boy is he popular after the race i posted a winner circle picture of patch and and it was a very popular post on twitter uh hundreds and hundreds of likes and retweet retweets and even uh four or five six days after the race it's still getting attention so uh racing fans love patch and there's nothing wrong with that and that's why we're talking about patch here matt this is the this is the patch segment part of the show and you know we we still don't know how good patch may be uh i don't think he's the most talented horse and obviously todd Fletcher doesn't feel as he's the most talented horse in his barn. Uh, but you look at his record, you know, he rallied for second his first time out, rallied to win a maiden race. Kentucky Derby uh, was his fourth lifetime race after a very good Louisiana Derby, which he rallied for second, as you mentioned. Kentucky Derby, he just got pinballed around, bounced around, and uh, had to be a little bit of a nightmare for him. But then came back in the Belmont, rallied for third. And then the West Virginia Derby after a break where horses kind of stayed where they were early in the race, he, he, he still tried and rallied for fourth. Obviously a horse who tries very hard, as you alluded to. And uh, after a long layoff, it was nice to see him win. Yeah, he still got allowance conditions available to him as uh, uh, this was his first win other than that maiden win. Uh, but uh, they were all graded stakes after that maiden win until this one. And uh, my guess is we see more graded stakes uh, in his future, and having seen what he did in Louisiana and the Belmont Stakes, and then in his return race, four-year-old son of Union Rags, Matt, I think he's a, a viable graded stakes uh, performer this year in, in an older division, not particularly strong, especially when we're looking at horses going maybe nine, ten furlongs. Yeah, and there are a lot of opportunities around the country for uh, for those older horses, but I don't know. It seems like. Uh, track like Belmont Park and and even Saratoga that are that are bigger than the miles maybe are tracks that uh that suit patch really well and suit you know the fact that he has uh, uh only has one uh one eye and limited vision that's right and, and and what do Belmont Park and fairgrounds have in common is a long stretch as well so yeah Pat should be happy at Belmont Saratoga I agree with you Hey, maybe he's a Jockey Club Gold Cup horse down the road. But uh, like you all folks, Horse Center here, Matt and I are rooting for Patch to keep on doing well. And uh, 
World season got off to a great start. 